Which are the healthiest meat products? Well, uh, simply put, absolutely zero. Now, I know this is controversial, especially in light of the high protein diets out there. But if you read my books or follow this podcast for long, you know I don't make this stuff up to be the big bad food Grinch, robbing you of that big juicy steak for the fun of it. All my claims are science backed. You see, I'm always looking out for you and your health, even if it means telling you things you probably don't want to hear, even if it means telling me things I probably don't want to hear. The truth is, animal protein is one of the larger drivers of insulin resistance, metabolic inflexibility, and weight gain. And if you don't believe me, just check out my references in the longevity paradox, in the energy paradox, in unlocking the keto code. These are huge long-term human studies that back up these assertions. Now, there's multiple reasons, and time will not permit a lot of them in detail, but let's just run through a few. Beef, lamb, and pork contain a sugar molecule on the lining of their blood vessels called NU5GC. You and I, chicken and fish, have a sugar molecule on our blood vessels called NU5AC. There's only one molecule difference between the two, but it's a profound difference. I first studied this molecule as a Xeno heart transplant surgeon taking a pig heart and transplanting it into a baboon. Because of that one dumb sugar molecule, if I take a pig heart and put it in a baboon, that pig heart will stop in about five hours from acute rejection because the baboon's white blood cells attacked that sugar molecule in that pig heart. Now, you may remember I'm pretty famous for getting around that system. I've had untreated pig hearts live for a month in baboons using my tricks. But that sugar molecule promotes an antigenic response. So whenever we eat new 5G containing foods like a steak, like bacon, like lamb, we actually make an antibody to our own blood vessels. And there is interesting reasoning that part of the reason that meat eaters have more coronary artery disease than non-meat eaters is because of new 5 gc in an autoantibody response against our own blood vessels. That's number one. Number two. Tumors are known to use new 5 gc to cloak themselves so that they won't be seen by the immune system. Now, you already know we don't manufacture new 5 gc which means that tumors in us had to acquire new 5 gc from the foods we eat. And that's why there are a number of studies that show a correlation between red meat eating and increased cancer risk. Now, you've heard me say over and over again, correlation does not mean causation, but there's enough of a reasoning behind this that it's probably not your friend. Now, if you are gonna eat meat, yes, even I eat meat, then abide by the following principles. First of all, shellfish and fish and chicken do not have new 5 gc They have new 5 ac just like us. But also keep in mind that animal protein, regardless of the animal, regardless of whether it was a fish or a chicken or beef, has a large amount of a protein, an amino acid called methionine. And there is strong evidence 
that methionine is one of the drivers of aging. And it stimulates a receptor in us called mTOR, the mammalian target of rapamycin. And there, again, is strong evidence that removing methionine from, say, a pig's diet will allow that pig to live 50% longer than a pig who eats a methionine-enriched diet. 50% longer by removing methionine. And plant proteins have far less methionine than animal proteins. Okay, I don't care. I still want my piece of chicken, I want my piece of fish, I want my beef. As Like I always say, you are what you eat, but you are what the thing you're eating ate. Now that means that a cow that was fed a diet of grains and corn, even if it was organic grains and corn, will be a giant lectin bomb, will be a giant inflammatory fat bomb, because the corn and grain is now part of that meat. Similarly, if you get a farm-raised salmon or an organic farm-raised salmon, it is fed organic corn and soybeans. And rather than omega-3 fats that a salmon would give you from the wild, that salmon will actually give you inflammatory omega-6 fats because you've fed it omega-6 fats in the corn, grain, and soybeans. So just the word organic doesn't cut it. You gotta have wild. Similarly with chicken, just because it says organic free range means absolutely nothing. You have to look for pasture-raised poultry. And quite frankly, there are now lectin light chickens. You can go to lectinlightchickens.com. Farmer Dan, we've had him on the podcast, and get chickens that are not fed lectin-containing foods. North Star also sells a soy corn-free turkey. If you decided that you want new 5GC in your diet, then please look for grass-fed, grass-finished beef or bison or lamb. Now, it's very difficult to find true pastured grass-fed pork. It can be done. There are porks that are remarkably safe, particularly Iberico pork from Spain, sometimes called 5J. This is prosciutto that has been fed acorns. And if you're actually in Spain or Portugal, you can actually buy hams and pork products that have been strictly fed acorns, which have an amazing omega-3 profile. Now, similarly, prosciutto hams, prosciutto pigs, are fed the rinds of Parmesan cheese as part of their diet. So prosciutto di Parma is actually pretty doggone good for you, and it's regulated. Now, just because something is labeled prosciutto, you gotta look at the label and find out where it came from. American prosciutto is not raised the same way as prosciutto di Parma, and so look for that on the label. Uh, most lamb from New Zealand is grass-fed. About 80% of lamb from Australia is grass-fed. Uh, goats and sheep in general uh, do not like eating grains. Goats love weeds, so goat products are actually one of your best choices. Are there other healthy meat alternatives? Yeah. Uh, Upton's Natural Jackfruit. Corn, which is mycelia mushroom based, get the corn that doesn't have any breading. My favorite, quite honestly, is grounds. It tastes like ground turkey. It works like ground turkey. Make your tacos, your lettuce tacos, please, out of it. Hillary's root burger is great. 
Now, please, please, please avoid fake meats like Beyond Beef and, uh, and the Impossible Burger. These have glyphosate, they have soy, they have genetically engineered heme, and the last thing you want is a processed plant food that's made to look like a burger. It may be from plants, but it is processed nonetheless. Please stay away. If you found this video helpful, I think you're going to love this one. Don't believe all the hype that a plant-based diet is necessarily great for you.